Hi, how are you? Welcome to another class of Unreal Engine 5. I would like to show you in this class uh, other ways um, to correct some elements that we corrected in 3D Studio Max. For example, do you remember that by using 3D Studio Max, we corrected the mapping in one meter for one meter for one meter. We corrected the pivot uh, we aligned the pivot in the center of the object and we also learned how to invert the normal of the object. But if in case you don't use 3ds Max, if you use the SketchUp, Blender, Maya, um, if it's possible, it's really cool that you apply, you apply the concepts that we saw in the 3D Studio Max class to the software that you're using, okay? But if, for example, uh, some some features are not available on the softwares that you're using, like Blender, Maya, SketchUp, for example. There is the possibility of adjusting some things directly on Unreal. So we will learn how to adjust three things directly on Unreal Engine. Uh, one of the things is to adjust the pivot, the position of the pivot, and the mapping one for one for one, and invert the normal. Okay. Nice. So let's get started with the more simple. That is just the mapping in one for one for one. I already applied here a modifier um, UVW map, okay? Uh, to let the texture uh, out of proportion. So you can see that uh, it's merging six meters uh, here, uh, 40 centimeters and two meters and half in the vertical. Okay, so the texture is out of proportion. If I take out the UVW map, it looks like it's in the proportion and it's not cool. So let's leave it out of the proportion. Okay, I'm gonna convert to polygon because it's gonna exit the modifier UVW map. It's already applied here, but it's not to show here. Okay, let's suppose in your software that you're, you're using uh, this wall here that you're modeling, uh, you want to apply a mapping one for one for one. Remember that it's not only for the wall, you can repeat this process, for example, for armchairs, and you can transform this into mapping one for one for one, or for any other object, okay? We're gonna use the wall as an example because I think it's easier, okay? I'm gonna export this, look, for our project, all right, here, I'm gonna export here FBX. Uh, I'm gonna create a folder here called mm, mapping, UV mapping. All right, and I'm gonna save this here, wall, UV. Okay, I export it in FBX. And you can also have the possibility to export in FBX in the software that you're using. I'm going to import here. We already learned how to import the models. FBX, UV mapping, wall. Uh, we don't want the night. All right, let's see. Let's just import. Nice. Let's take to the scene. All right, here is our wall. As you can see the mapping, it's out of proportion, okay? So it's not configured in one for one for one, as we saw in 3ds Max. That is cool to come to real the mapping one for one for one. But for example, if you don't have the Studio Max in your computer or uh, in the tool that you're used to use, uh, also, there is not this feature in like mapping one from one from one. We can do it inside Unreal. We can adjust the mapping at UV, okay, here. Uh, so basically here, click here, modeling, okay. We have access to some tools of modeling inside Unreal Engine 5. Obviously, uh, in this moment, it's not that great. We don't have all the few, the resources uh, like in 3ds Max or in the software that you're used to work. But 
there are some features that are really useful. For example, to correct the UV. Let's go UV here, project here. You can realize that it, it has corrected a little bit the mapping, but we can adjust a little more. For example, what's the type, the pro projection type you can choose? You see this? Cylinder, you know, it transforms into a cylinder, as in Studio Max, for example, or this one. In our case, we want uh, the projection type of the type box. Okay, and we can adjust the dimensions. And by default, is this, right? The 25, it recognizes the dimension of the geometry. We can uh, enlarge, all right? We can change this here, 25 it was. Here, uh, we can adjust, okay? Or 100. And the high, we can put like this. So, uh, the value that is cool for us, for walls, for example, or mapping, it's like one for one for one, okay? As we are working centimeters, 100 for 100 for 100 centimeters, okay? This way, uh, the mapping of your channel UV now is one for one for one. That's really good, mainly when you're going to work with walls inside Unreal Engine. Okay, nice. Uh, and you just click here, accept. All right. Yeah, so our model now is mapped in one for one for one. And it's not only the model in the scene, but also the model here in the content. It adjusts in the original model. Okay, so every time you add this object to the scene, it's gonna be considering the mapping that you corrected. Nice. Um, all right, besides the mapping UV uh, that we can correct on unranging, we can also uh, adjust the pivot, okay? Two ways, uh, let's see. I'm gonna bring here the, the chair. We saw in 3DS Max, that mainly uh, furniture, it's interesting to take the model uh, aligned in the zero of the world, okay? I'm gonna press G here to isolate this. Uh, our chair, it's aligned here in the center of the world. I'm going to put it here, all right? It's not in the center of the world anymore. Let's export in FBX, okay? Let's create a folder here. All right, let's see. I'm going to delete these elements. And I'm going to call it chair. Let's import. I think there is one element here. Okay, I deleted this. Import. Mm, let's see. FBX, all right, let's see the chair. Everything's okay here. Mm, nice. And let's click and drag to the scene. As we saw, the pivot is out of the correct position and that's bad, okay? Because if you're gonna rotate or position your object in some place, some specific place, because the pivot is out of the center mainly for the furnitures. How can we correct this inside our real engine? Uh, well, let me delete this here again. One of the ways is when we import. For example, you can import your chair and you can uncheck this option here, transform vertex to absolute, okay? And import this. Nice. And put in the scene. Look at this. It didn't consider um, the position where the pivot came uh, of the zero of the world. It considered the position of the pivot 
here in this position. But what does this consider to bring the pivot here? Well, possibly during the modeling of this armchair on the software where it was modeled, the pivot or the model was built from this uh, position here. So Unreal Engine understands the position where the model was built. Maybe it was built this element after this, and then it was attached to the other, and it considered this position here. Okay, this is one of the ways uh, to zero the position of the pivot inside Unreal Engine. But you can see that it's not very efficient because in this case of this module specifically, uh, that during the modeling, uh, Unreal understood that the pivot of this, it was from here, from this position, it came to the scene in the wrong way. And every time I'll have to adjust the position. So that's not really efficient, okay? Another way to correct this inside Unreal Engine, I'm gonna remove here, let's see, let's delete this. Let's import again. And let's check this uh, option, just to test. If you uncheck this, the pivot comes to the center of the, of the object, however, based on the uh, modeling. So for now, I'm gonna check this, all right? So the uh, pivot is gonna be exactly the position where it came from the 3D S Max, okay? Let's export this again, okay? All right, file. Let's save it here. Yeah. That's it. Mm, in and import. Okay. Look, I'm gonna leave it checked. So it's gonna consider the position that is coming from Max. And import. Okay, it came here. Let's put in the scene. Look at this. The pivot is there. That's not cool, right? All right, then. So how can I adjust the pivot here on the range in? Same thing. Let's go in modeling. Okay, the options here. And let's go, let's see. Here, transform, pivot. Look at this. By clicking on pivot, we can align the pivot in some positions or manually. Okay, we can do it. We can put the pivot where uh, we want. For example, here, here, you know, close to the object or here, where I can click on center and the pivot is going to center. Bottom, okay, it goes here. What is really nice? Top, left, right, back, front, you know? So in this module, we want uh, to align this uh, bottom, okay? And accept this. Yeah, nice, it's ready. The pivot of our model came from that wrong position and now it's aligned in the center of the object. All right, every furniture, armchair, all of this is gonna come with the pivot aligned here. Okay, the center of the object in bottom is going to align here on this part, okay, of our model. And that's really nice. If you don't have these resources on your software, you can adjust uh, the pivot here inside Unreal Engine. Now let's talk about uh, how to flip the normal, how to invert, how to flip the normal. Maybe in the software that you're used to use, uh, mainly on some models of SketchUp, when you bring this model inside a regime, the normal comes flipped, like inverted. What's that? Well, look, I'm going to show it to you. So like this, and I'm going to flip the seat. Okay, look at this. The normal of the seat. What is that? Well, it means that this part uh, of the surface of my model is inverted, it's flipped. So instead of seeing my model here, it's like I'm seeing my model, the surface of this model here, this side. So it's inverted, 
Okay. I'm going to export the model. I'm going to call this flipped and I'm going to save it. Nice. I'm going to import. Okay. Import. Take to the scene. Look at this. You can see that we don't see the seat here because it's flipped. And besides flipped, the pivot is in the wrong position. We already learned how to correct the pivot. It's very simple. All right, pivot, bottom. Accept. We correct the pivot. Now we're going to correct the normal that is flipped. Look at this. I see this here. Okay, I see it flipped. How we can correct this? Well, we select the object here, this one. I click on this element here. Uh, so I have these options and I can choose, for example, some uh, selection modes, for example, brush. You know, I can select specific faces of my model. I can change, for example, uh, this one or this one or all in group. Okay, I can select, for example, elements, specific elements of my model. Okay. Um, do you agree that uh, this element is with the face? Uh, correct. The normal is not inverted. The only normal that is inverted is the normal of the seat. So I select this and I click flip normal. Yeah, that's it. The normal was corrected. Do you want to uh, flip the normal? You click here. Look, the normal now is flipped. So click here, flip normal. Okay flip normals. Click on the element, flip normals. All right. I'm going to close it here. Don't forget to accept. Yeah, that's it. Our model was corrected and the normal was corrected. Uh, not only in the scene as in the main model. Okay. Every time you put uh, in, in the scene, the normal is going to be corrected and the pivot is going to be corrected. And if you need to adjust the mapping, the UV, uh, the mapping is going to be corrected. Okay. I hope you liked this class, these chips. And in this class, we saw how to correct the pivot, uh, correct the mapping, the UV, and how to flip the normal. So if you are following the course with some personal project in parallel to develop uh, the knowledge of the course. You can use these resources here in case you don't use 3D Studio Max. Okay? By using 3D Studio Max is one of the ways to do it as we are already modeling this. So you can model thinking about Unreal Engine. But in case you received the project from another artist and these concepts uh, weren't think like when you, it was uh, being building, you can adapt this inside on ranging. Okay, so I'm going to close this class here. And we're going to keep going with our course. See you. Bye.